Hello! My name is Indy and today I am wearing pink because I am doing the book courtship tag. Yeah, yeah. So I'm excited to do this one because I saw it recently on Padfoot Prong 07 and I was like, sounds like a fantastic tag. So I haven't been tagged by anyone, I'm pretty sure, so let's just get into it, I guess. Phase 1. Initial Attraction. A book you bought because of the cover. That basically can stand for like 50% of these, but I will look for a recent one. Of a recent purchase, I would definitely be saying Uprooted by Naomi Novik because the story is interesting. I'm not sure it was really my cup of tea, but the cover though. But that cover though, I couldn't look past it. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. I just found out you can get the paperback of this one, and I'm kind of mad that I got the hardcover version of it when I could have got the paperback of it too, but damn, this cover's so nice. Um, I just still don't know how to explain this one. If you saw in my book haul, I tried to explain it and I still don't understand how to explain this book. So I'll link it down below for you to check out because I really can't explain this book still because I still don't know what it's about. <laughs> Phase 2. First Impressions. A book you bought because of the summary. And again, lots of these books because of the summary. Right. So for Phase 2, I chose A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab because I've always wanted to read her books and this one is like... The perfect. I'm gonna read you the summary real quick because it's goddamn amazing. Uh, I love time traveling sort of stories and magic and stuff, so this book for me. Kel is one of the last travelers, magicians with a rare coveted ability to travel between parallel universes connected by one magical city. There's Grey London, dirty and boring without any magic, and one with Mad King George III. Red London where life and magic are revered, and where Kel was raised alongside re... <laughs> Alongside Re Maresh. I'm sorry. The roguish heir to a flourishing empire. White London, a place where people fight to control magic and magic fights back, draining the city to its very bones. And once upon a time there was Black London, but no one speaks of that now. Ooh. Oh shit. Um, I actually haven't read that proper summary, but. That is amazing. I'm so excited. I really want to read this now. Phase 3, Sweet Talk, a book with great writing. And for this one, I have picked Slammed by Colleen Hoover because I enjoy the incorporation of the importance of poetry in, the, in this and the slam poetry poems within it to help further describe the story and I really loved it so much, such a great story, such great writing, Colleen Hoover's writing is so easy and flowable and just so comfortable to read and I really love it, so there you go. Phase 4, First Date, a first book in a series that made you want to pursue the rest of the series and for that one I choose the Rhone of Glass because that is like my favorite series ever right now because it's amazing. I haven't read Queen of Shadows yet. No one? Okay, alright. It's still my favorite series even though I haven't read the most recent book but it's I'm getting there. I'm getting there. That book was so amazing and the series has continued to be amazing and I'm so excited to read Queen of Shadows. Oh, I'm so 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 excited. So definitely probably one of those and if you had a few other books before that I've read the first one and I just want to continue on with the series because the world or the story is so encapsulating. Phase 5, Late Night Phone Call. A book that kept you up all night long. And for that, I would probably say any of these little bubbers here. These little bubbers. Oh no, maybe I can close them. Since I've been reading reading the series, I just keep wanting to reading them all the time and at night, especially. And I always have to stop myself because I have to go to sleep. But I usually read like a chapter or two because now I'm reading it on my Kindle because I'm feeling it's a lot faster to read on my Kindle. I can see a chapter that takes like 20 minutes, so I'm like, damn, that's what I'm gonna do. So I just wanna read them all the time because I love them and I can't stop reading them and I love it. <laughs> I don't know what else to say really. I could definitely throw back to some other books that I've read before, but I feel like that one was a recent one. Holy shit. <sighs> I just thought my Harry Potter's all moving that scared the Jesus out of me. Oh, I'm scared now. <laughs> Phase 6, Always On My Mind, a book you could not stop thinking about. And other than The Old Outlander, which I always talk about, I'm definitely saying Ugly Love by Colleen Hoover because I love this book so much and I did think about it for like all the time. I still think about it on occasion because I just loved it so much and I don't know, it was just so encapsulating and I just loved it and I, yeah, I was thinking about it for like weeks afterwards and I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I just wanted to reread it, honestly. Once I'd finished it, I wanted to reread it because I I kept thinking about it and I had loved it so much. Now I want to reread it. Damn it. No, I don't. No, I don't. Phase 7. Getting physical. A book that you love the way it
it feels. I feel like I have a better option for this one, but I just don't know, so I went with this old, the old Outlander, because it's pretty, it's shiny, it's all bumpy and stuff, and it's squishy, and it's got this little, little hangy thing, which I love playing with when I was reading it, but this book is the bomb digit, and I'm gonna hug it now because why not? <laughs> Ooh, second base, second base, whoa, whoa, whoa. Phase eight, meeting the parents. A book which you would recommend to your friends and family. And for this one, there's many. I'm always recommending Throne of Glass to everyone. Like, literally everyone. I'm always like, read that, read that. Um, there's also obviously like, The Mortal Instruments. Not that I do that one too much because I feel like there's a bad stigma around it at the moment. Recent pick that I am definitely going with is Seconds by Brian Lee O'Malley. And this is a graphic novel which I read earlier this month. Oh my god, I loved it so much. I devoured it in a day. And it's just such a good book. It's such a easy story, so, ah, oh, ah, ah, I have no words, it was so good. I guess it's not so much for the younger folk, mild out of contact, but mild, and swearing. <laughs> but definitely this one, I've tried to recommend it to my mom and my sister, but I loved it, and go read it, go read it. I'll link it down below. Phase nine, thinking about the future. A book series that you know will, you will reread a million times into the future. That's not the question, but I'm going with it anyway. Probably the old, the old infernal devices because I love it. I've read it so many times already. I've read them all instruments like 60 billion times, but yeah, this series probably will stick with me because it's one of my favorite series. Even though I feel like I'm growing out of it, I don't think I will really. It's such a good series. And especially with her creating more books, old Cassandra Clare, uh, that tie into this series and just books in the world in general will probably keep me reading all of these books, all of these ones, because, I don't know, it just will, because the continuation will just bring me back to the old, the old heart and I'll just keep reading them. So probably the Infernal Devices slash the model instruments, I guess you could say. Lastly, phase 10, share the love, and this is where I get to tag some people. So today I am prepared. Pat on the shoulder for me because I actually did some homework. I'm gonna be tagging Julie Reed's books and Alexa Talks books. So I will hit you up on Twitter or something or other and let you know that I've tagged you. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you loved the old book courtship tag. I know I did. It was a fun, 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 fun. But I feel like I'm always showing you the same books in my tag because I haven't read any books basically, is what it runs down to, because I suck and I haven't read any books, but you know, maybe I should stop doing tags because I always recommend the same books, but anyway. I will see you in my next video. Bye! This tag was originally created by Hi I Love Books, so I will be linking that down below if you want to check it out. right and center. Phase one, initial attraction. A book you, a book you bought because, <laughs> I can't do it. Phase three, sweet talk. A book with amazing writing. No, that's not right. <laughs> Phase three, sweet talk. A book with, <laughs> no, great writing, great writing. Phase five, oh, phase five, late night phone calls. A book that kept you up long at night. That's not even a thing. <laughs> Phase... <laughs> Phase 7. Book which you would recommend to your friends and... Friends? Phase 9. <laughs> Phase... <laughs> I can't do it. I'm do that.